this is my tabletop foiler. Um, I've had it for a long time. You can tell by the wear on it. Um, one of the things about these tabletop foilers, though, is you really need to have some good quality foil. Um, we use Venture Tape um, foil. Um, now, this stuff is made by 3M. It's made by a lot of different people over the years, but this is the best you can get. Um, if you'll notice right there, that number is the key. Uh, 1.25, that is how many mils thick it is. If you buy this stuff at the um, at the uh, um, local hobby place, it's 0.75, very thin, doesn't have a very good glue, doesn't stick very well. I am going to use blackback foil today due to the fact that I am going to do it on some clear glass as you see. Alright, so one of the things that I've added to my piece is this little piece of uh, wax paper. And the reason I added this to it is over time this tends to get sticky sometimes and it'll stick to the surface of this so what I did was I stuck this white paper on there that's a good little help technique alright so when you buy this foiling machine it actually comes with these little rollers this is a 7 30 seconds roller I am using 7 30 seconds foil so what I need to do is I need to look for that little lip I'm gonna take this I'm gonna set it right like that so that it sets on there and it'll turn now and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little white wing nut back on and start cranking it down. Now, when you buy these, most of the time people have no clue what they're buying. When you buy it, you need to make sure that you get one of these with it. Um, this is the cutting tool, but it's also the tool that you use to set it up so that you can make sure that it's going to go right down the middle of your glass. All right, so the way this thing works is there's a square side and then there's an angled side that's kind of sharp. This is what you're going to cut it with. This side is what you're going to set it up with. So if you lay it on your surface, crank this nut down just a little bit. What I'm trying to do is get this to fit up in between the two marks on the roller. And as long as it doesn't move, and you, see, you can see that it's moving a little bit. I'm going to crank it down just a little bit more. It's getting closer. Getting closer. Alright, so now I'm at a point to where it's just barely touching on both sides, and that's what I want. That way it's going to be in the center of the glass when I go to foil it. Alright, so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to split my tape. It goes this roller, splits the tape right here, and then this slides down in between the uh, force. Now this has got a little rubber piece back in the back of it so that when you push this in there, it, uh, it kind of gives some give and that way you can actually cut, cut or tear the foil off. Alright, so this being my first piece, I'm going to start a little bit further in. I'm going to do a big one. Um, now, being that this is the outside edge and these are the inside edges, I don't want to foil this side because I'm going to put zinc around it. I'm going to put this in just a little ways, right about there, and then I'm going to start rolling. Now, I am pushing with pretty good force up into the machine. What that's doing is it's causing it to fold over but it's also making it stick. Now when I get to the end of my piece this is where this little cutter comes in handy. It's really sharp on one end of it but if you can see on here and at this point I'll try to zoom in on the video for you but you want to take put this flat against the glass push in and then you want to rotate the glass back. When you rotate the glass back it's just going to tear it and cut it right off. You're ready for the next piece on the roller and then at this point, you're ready to burnish this. Now, it doesn't flatten it out, but it does roll it over the edges. You can come back with your fingers and roll on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to clip this little end off of it. All right. And then I have a little thing that's called a quick crimp. Um, we sell these as those, we do the tabletop foilers also. And when I sell them, I sell them with this cutter. Um, it's just, it's part of it. You got to have it doesn't come with it but I sell it with it all right um, so the quick crimp if you'll notice it's got some little things in there what this does is it fits right over the top of the spoil and you kind of squeeze and you'll notice that it burnishes it for you now being that this is water glass you'll notice that my foil is not quite even along the edges of this um, I'm gonna deal with that um, by probably coming back and adding a little bit more foil to one side you'll notice the back side is really even and the reason for that is because this side is flat I like putting the water glass on the outside so you can see that where the water glass is it's a little bit higher 
So I will go back with a piece of foil after I'm after I'm um, done with this video, and I'll add a little bit more piece of foil just to straighten that out. I could also go back with a razor blade. Now, one of the other things is if you don't have a quick crimp, you can use a a, a sharpie. Um, you just want to make sure that you rub it on all three sides and make sure that you crimp it down really well so that that stays on there. All right. That's how the quick. That's how the tabletop foiler works. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. On the uh, on the right hand side of the video, as you're looking at it, there'll be a subscribe button. Also, once you subscribe, subscribe to us. Click the bell. The bell will let you know that there are new videos arriving, and you'll be the first ones to watch. Hey, if you like my videos, share them. I need a lot, a lot of video viewers, and I need a lot of subscriptions before I can actually make a little bit of money off of this. I appreciate you. Hey, if you like this video, you can always go to edsemporium.com and buy a gift certificate um, and then come back in and use it. Hey, even $10 is fine. I, I, anything will help. Thanks.